So here it is, my 2018 BMW X3 M40. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the plans for this X3, how the build's gonna go, all the future mods that are coming for the car, and all that type of stuff. So if you guys didn't see in one of my recent videos, I actually revealed this car, so this is gonna be the new build on the channel. If you guys are new here, I also have a BMW 435, which I've been building, but I also recently got this, so I do plan on building this X3 and basically make a whole bunch of content for this car as well. So that way I'll have the 435 as well as this. In that other video, I did talk about like the specs of this car and everything about it specifically obviously like the packages and all that type of stuff but in today's video we're really going to be focusing on the future plans for it, all the future mods and just overall where i want to take the build so if you guys want to know more about that definitely check out that other video i'll leave it linked down in the description below so without any further ado let's get into it we'll start off with the exterior mods and all the aesthetic stuff then we'll probably go into like the interior of the car performance and all that so right off the bat starting off on the front end one of the first things i'm going to change is this grill over here so this grill if you guys can tell it's sort of like this bronze-ish chrome-ish I don't really know what you call this color it's better than chrome that they put on a whole bunch of like base model BMWs but I think it would look a lot better if it was black so what I'm gonna do is actually replace this grill out for like a glossy black double slit M style grill I think it's gonna make the front end look a lot more aggressive and also get rid of sort of that awkward color on the car otherwise if you guys can tell over here it has that same color as well so I don't know if it's best to just replace this or maybe just wrap it so I did find some replacements for that piece there but they're about like a hundred and hundred fifty bucks which just wasn't worth it so I think I'm gonna do is actually wrap it gloss black instead and I'm gonna try to do it myself so I've always wanted to learn how to wrap so I think this might be a good place to start but I don't know I guess we'll see how that goes so yeah with the gloss black grills uh, the gloss black over there I think the front end will already start to look a lot more aggressive but one of the big pieces it's gonna need is a front lift so obviously guys this is an SUV and it's meant to be a little more practical but if you guys can tell the front bumper kind of lifts up a little bit it kind of gives like this inverted chin look but I think if we add a front lip over there and it kind of extends the bumper brings it down and kind of makes it protrude a little more I think it'll look a lot more aggressive there's not too many options when it comes to front lips for these x3s but the ones that I did find they do look good and they're not too expensive either I think we're probably gonna stick with like a gloss black look to match the rest of the front end rather than going for like a carbon fiber look but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below so yeah hopefully that will help bring the whole front end look together and then other than that something while we're here is uh these side markers over here so i'm hoping there's a company that makes them in a paint match that's obviously what i did with the 435 if you guys saw that video so i'm hoping i can do the same here because the orange just doesn't look too great and this side marker is actually larger than the one that was on the 435 so it kind of stands out a little more so in terms of the front end that's pretty much it there's not too much that you can do to these cars but i think all that combined will definitely make it look a lot more aggressive but with that said guys let's actually move to the side of the car so one of the big things if you guys can tell already the side mirror caps do also have that same weird color in my opinion so when I say weird I don't mean the color itself is actually weird I just think it looks weird on the car because you obviously have the white car like the black trim and all that and then this color just kind of just doesn't fit it it'll probably look good in other situations again it beats the chrome that BMW usually uses not necessarily on mirror caps but like on their grills and stuff like that but again same concept here as the front grill I think having like a gloss black or even like carbon fiber look will look a lot better so not only will we get rid of this color we'll also get like the M style mirror caps which kind of protrude out like this again very similar to what I did on my 435 so I think that'll also give an aggressive look something else which I actually found interesting on these cars is these side vents which also has that weird color which as you guys can tell is a very common theme on this car not only can you get like a gloss black one or a carbon fiber one but you can also get one that looks a little more aggressive so whereas this one kind of just goes over here and stops you can get another one that goes up here and kind of comes back around over here and then it also has like extended slits which looks really good but yeah in terms of the side I think that's pretty much it it obviously already has like the black trim around the windows since this is an M package all right so now on to the wheels so this specific x3 did come with the 19s uh, you could have gotten these x3s with like 21s i believe they look a lot better but uh these these 19s they look okay they're obviously really dirty right now so just ignore that but obviously these wheels aren't going to stay like this so i'm going to kind of do like a two-phase plan with the wheels so the first phase i'm going to paint these wheels black and then also do some wheel spacers on them obviously like most stock cars these wheels do tuck in a lot so uh that's the front and then also the same thing on the rear of course so 
as you guys can tell like it does tuck in a lot what i'm thinking is maybe like 25 millimeter in the rear and then 20 millimeter in the front these x3s are obviously still new to me so there's a lot that i have to learn about them but when i was trying to like research what wheel spacers do on this i saw someone who did the 25 and the 20 in the front and they look really good but if anybody has an x3 and has any recommendations what to do definitely let me know the 25 and the 20 isn't set in stone so we'll see when i get to it i still haven't bought them yet so still have some time to figure it out but yeah i think with those wheel spacers and then the wheels painted black uh, they'll look a lot more aggressive obviously guys these are just stock wheels and i do plan on getting different wheels in the future but kind of have to do this one step at a time so while we're still on the wheels also if you guys kind of tell before uh this did come with the blue brake calipers it is pretty cool it's definitely better than just my normal like gray ones on the 435 it's definitely an improvement but i'm just not too crazy about the blue we'll definitely do an accent color on this car probably not red like the 435 i'm thinking maybe like yellow or something like that so other than that i do plan on getting some lowering springs for this truck uh, obviously nothing too crazy i think like an inch maybe an inch and a half drop will make it look a lot more aggressive obviously also with bigger wheels i think it'll look a lot better but for now we're gonna hold off on that that's gonna be much later so if you guys watch my other video you'll know that i kept on saying that this is supposed to be a family car and more of a practical car the 435 isn't too practical anymore one it's a two-door and then two it's on some much wider wheels it's been lowered on coilovers so it's not too too practical this one i still want to keep relatively practical so i don't want to go too crazy with lowering it or anything like that also it's an suv so i think it'll look a little weird i mean i guess it could look cool but I don't know but regardless it's not what I'm gonna be doing with this one also something else to note this car still is under warranty so I did buy it pretty recently so I want to try to take advantage of the warranty as much as possible meaning of course I have to make sure I don't void it in any way but regardless we can definitely still do a lot to the car in the meantime pretty much most of what I said thus far I can do uh, with the car under warranty and it'll be just fine because most of it is cosmetic so yeah I think we should be good but anyways guys I think that's pretty much it for this side now we'll move on to the rear so starting off with this diffuser uh, we're definitely gonna swap it out for one that looks a little more aggressive it's nothing too too crazy but it does have some more character and it has like a couple fins sort of like going down like the middle over here it just gives the car a little more character and then obviously like small things like replacing out that dealer frame and all that type of stuff all right so i think that pretty much covers everything in terms of like exterior and aesthetics so uh with that said let's move on to the performance all right so obviously guys this is a m340 so what that means is it has the b58 so there's definitely a lot of potential in terms of performance on this suv but kind of in line with what i was saying before i don't want to go too too crazy with this thing so to start off we're definitely going to be adding an air intake on this thing so not only just for power because air intakes you know they could add a little bit of power but nothing too crazy but mainly for the sound so if you guys watch my channel you'll know that i have a bms elite air intake on the 435 and that thing sounds amazing <laughs> So I definitely want to try to get like a similar sound out of this thing as well. But yeah, otherwise, in terms of like the engine bay, we're really not going to be doing too much. I do plan on doing a tune to this car. So most likely BM3. Uh, just try to push a little more horsepower out of it maybe like play with the burbles a little bit but other than that guys like definitely not going to be pushing too much power of this car i do want to keep it relatively reliable because again it is to me a family suv and it's going to be the car that my wife drives most of the time but regardless i think adding an air intake for that extra sound is going to be awesome this thing already does sound really good <laughs> definitely sound a little better so uh with that said in terms of sound i actually want to look into exhaust systems for these things because again like it sounds really good already i actually think it could sound a lot better and then also like a large suv like this especially once it starts to look a little more aggressive i actually think it's really cool when it has like a deep aggressive sound to it so just to sort of match like the large style of an suv but again the x3s are still new to me so that's definitely something i'm gonna have to look into and see like what sounds best what's best for the money by the way guys if you have an x3 and you want to watch this build i will make a whole bunch of like diy videos about it a whole bunch of like before and after so if you're into that type of stuff and you want to watch it definitely hit that subscribe button i also have a 435 which i'm still building on this channel i'm definitely not getting rid of anytime soon so if you guys are also interested in that definitely stick around so i know that one was really quick but that's pretty much it for performance so pretty much just an air intake a tune maybe an exhaust system uh, i obviously said the springs for the aesthetic purpose but one could argue that's also performance as well but regardless all right so now we're moving on to the 
interior. The interior of this car is already beautiful. Honestly, I think BMW killed it with the G generation. They definitely improved the interior a lot since the F generation. Although I love the red interior on my 435, and I love the 435 overall. There's just no comparison when it comes to this interior. But even still, I think we can make this interior a little better. So let me show you guys exactly what I mean. All right, so like I was saying, this interior is honestly really beautiful already, especially at night when the ambient lighting is going on. It looks really, really good but uh, we can definitely make it a little better. So one of the first things I'm gonna be doing is actually replacing this start button over here. So although there's absolutely nothing wrong with the start button, there's actually one that I bought that I think is gonna look really cool in this car. I did the red start button on the 435 and I think that looked really good and it fit the aesthetic of the 435 really well. I'm actually not gonna be doing a red one on this car. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know which one I got, but uh, definitely stay tuned for a future video about it. Other than that, my X3 came with this wood trim over here. So obviously guys, I bought this car used so I didn't really have the option to pick exactly what trim I wanted out of it and the car otherwise was perfect it was a great deal it still had warranty on it it was the color that I wanted it was the interior color that I wanted so something like trim that we can easily change I didn't want it to be a deal breaker when we we're buying this truck me and my wife kind of figured we'll just change it later to something that we both like a little more because honestly we both don't like this wood trim so that's definitely something I'm gonna do but what I actually find interesting is unlike the 435 where you can actually get a replacement trim so literally just taking out the old trim and replacing it with a new one I couldn't really find a replacement trim for this x3 but what i did find guys is like sort of like an overlay so basically literally just a piece that you just stick on top of the current trim so you're not actually removing the old trim i'm still looking at different options right now but what i'm currently leaning towards is a carbon fiber look i think overall it's just going to look really cool and very neutral especially along with this black leather interior and then lastly guys what i'm actually going to be doing is replacing out the steering wheel so this particular x3 is a 2018 so in 2018 they actually didn't even offer an m sport steering wheel as an option in these cars so unfortunately even though this is an x3 m40 with an m package of course it still has like this pretty base looking steering wheel it's not bad per se but the m sport ones if you guys have ever seen them just look a lot better so we're definitely going to be swapping out this one for one of those m sport ones so yeah i think that was pretty much everything that i want to do to this car overall guys this is going to be a family car although i do want to mod it and make it look a lot cooler sound a lot better be a little faster i'm not going to go too crazy my wife's going to be driving this car most of the time although she loves cars and appreciates them which i'm very grateful for she obviously doesn't want to be scraping everywhere but regardless we're still going to be modding it and still making it look a lot better I also kind of want to make this thing look a little ironic if that makes sense so like i keep on saying this is going to be a family car so i kind of wanted to get like those baby on board stickers that people put on the back of their windshield as well as those like family stick figure things on the other side i just think it's going to look really funny with those stickers and then when this truck looks a lot more aggressive with all the carbon fiber the gloss black accents the bigger wheels and all that type stuff and also when it sounds like super loud and aggressive so yeah i don't know i think that's going to be really cool uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below it's going to be sort of like an aggressive mommy mobile if that makes sense again my wife is going to be driving this most of the time i'm still driving the 435 so i think it's going to be kind of funny when she pulls up with like a baby on board sticker in the back and then this thing just like looking and sounding super mean i don't know guys i think it's going to be cool but again let me know what you guys think down in the comments below but anyways with that said if you guys want to see this build if you guys want to see it progress or if you want to watch the 435 or whatever it is make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell it'll really help me out guys i'm trying to make it to a thousand subscribers so Let's see how fast we can get there. But anyways, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment, guys. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.